Good morning, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful night last night and are excited for some math this morning. We're working on example one. So make sure in your packet you have example one pulled up. And we have three examples. We'll do them real quickly before you start the Kahoot challenge with the iPads and all the fun and competition. So number one is a reflection problem. It says if the point negative five, three is reflected across the X axis, what are the new coordinates? So whenever we reflect across the x-axis, make sure we circle that, <clears throat> that means the x-coordinate stays the same, and the y-coordinate is opposite. Whatever axis we're reflecting over, the x, or that coordinate, so the x here in this case stays the same, and the y is opposite. Since we have this point, negative 5, 3, I'm actually going to draw a really quick coordinate axis to the side just to see where negative 5, 3 is. Negative 5, 3 would be negative 5 this way and then 3 up, so I'm going to estimate it to be about right there. If I reflect across the x-axis, which is this one here, then the point's going to end up somewhere about here. I'm just using that to estimate to make sure my answer makes sense. So now let's find the specific coordinates. From negative 5, 3, the x stays the same. x here is negative 5. And my y coordinate, which here is 3, is now the opposite, which becomes negative 3. And you can see, back on our original estimate, negative 5, negative 3 would be about right here. So this makes sense. Negative five, negative three is the reflection. Let's look at example two. <clears throat> These are distance problems. Part A says find the distance between the points two five and two eight. Now I really want us to make sure we're drawing coordinate planes on these and seeing where the points are relative to each other. So let's kind of plot these two points and estimate where they would be. Here's my coordinate plane. This is x, this is y, my two axes. First point, 2, 5. That's over 2, 1, 2, and up 5. I'll put it about right there. Now the point, 2, 8. So the point 2, 8 would be over 2 and then up 8 spaces. So that would be a little bit above it. Point 2, comma, 8. Now the distance between these points would be this line here. I'll give you some time to copy and make sure you have all of this down. You can see this makes a vertical line, straight up and down. You can also see, since this one is at 8, and this one is at 5, we can count three spaces, 1, 2, 3. So that would be the distance of this line. We can subtract the absolute values of 8 and 5. That gives us a distance of 3 spaces. <clears throat> now let's look at question B, which would be a little bit different. Now our points are 2, 5 and 2, negative 4. I'm going to draw the coordinate plane for this off to the side since we have a little more room. Here's my x and y axis. I'm going to estimate where these points would be. I have the point 2, 5, 1, 2, and then 5 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, I'm not making these precisely 5 spaces up and 2 spaces over. I'm estimating so that I can visualize the answer. All right, and then this point is 2, negative 4. So I'm going over 2 and then down, one, two, three, four.
Now you'll see these are on opposite sides. They're on different sides of my x-axis. So I can't just subtract these two values, right? Here on the first example, I get to subtract eight and five because they're on the same side and I got three. Here I'm gonna look at this distance it is from the x-axis. They're on the different sides. So this is five spaces because it's five above. And the distance here would be four spaces because it's four below. So the total length, the total distance between these two lines would be five plus four, which gives us nine. <clears throat> nine spaces is the distance. You'll notice we learn these rules in class. When I have signs that are opposite of each other, here we have a positive 5, and this is a negative 4, they're different signs, I can add the absolute values. But I don't, want, I don't want you to just memorize this rule. I want you to be able to visualize it with the coordinate plane of why that makes sense. This one's 5 above, this one's 4 below. 5 plus 4 gives me 9 spaces. you also see this is a vertical line, straight up and down. I'll pause here to make sure you caught up on the notes, and I'll start example three in just a moment.